Hi there, and welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you are having a fabulous day. I know I say that every time, but I just I just want you guys to have fabulous days each and every day. And I know that's a lot to ask, and I know that probably doesn't happen all the time. But by putting that positive energy out there, um, I believe that the possibilities of that increase immensely by having it out there. So, um, lots of folks that I've been talking to um, in the hood and online and in person, um, which is a beautiful thing, uh, but uh, struggling with kind of neck and shoulders, uh, tension and tightness, which odd, right, in the times we're living in. Um, yeah, we have a tendency to really hold tension in the, ne in the neck and the shoulders, uh, also hips and lower back. But today, we're going to focus on neck and shoulders. So just a really nice, gentle, anytime you've got stuff, tension and tightness and any kind of binding uh, going on in the neck and shoulders, you want to be really gentle and kind. Okay, so we never, never, never want to go to the point where it's beyond just a really good feel good stretch. So you can have a really good deep stretch and it doesn't feel awesome. Uh, so we don't want to get to that point. So I want you guys in the intensity scale kind of hang about a six, maybe max a seven. Okay, so to start off, just find a place that feels okay to you. You can even be sitting in a chair for this. Um, you can have cross legs, you can have your legs out, anywhere you want to be. So um, just some place where you're on your bottom and you can let your arms hang down. I want you to feel the length in your spine as you sit up really tall and just close your eyes. Now let those arms just be long and heavy. Now you're going to notice sometimes some folks their palms are just gonna gently rest to the floor. You might even have bent elbows. That is an indication that you have longer arms than you do the torso, and all that is is knowledge. Kind of fun, kind of silly. Sometimes your hands are hanging off the floor and you're like, I don't even know how anyone would get their palms to the floor. Okay, so shorter arms and you have a longer torso. Body knowledge, it's kind of cool. Not that it's gonna do <laughs> change the world, but It'll help you understand as we move through different poses why some things are easier than others for folks. So as you sit up nice and tall, just notice as you relax the arms, where do they fall? Can you feel that length in the spine? When you close your eyes, can you let go of tension in your jaw? Your eyes, your neck. Now with that long, tall spine, we're going to press those palms to the floor and see if that makes you sit up any taller. So by activating different muscles, it actually improves posture. So as we sit up nice and tall and press those palms towards the floor, we've created space and length. As you exhale, release your chin towards the chest. So just letting gravity do the work here. Eyes are closed, jaw is soft. We still have that length in the spine. Inhale, lift the head. Eyes can be open or closed. Exhale and release that right ear towards your right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. And now as you exhale, lift to your left shoulder. Inhale it back to center. As you exhale, turn and look out over that right shoulder. Inhale back to center. Exhale, turn and look out over that left shoulder. Far as you can turn your head. And back to center. Once again, drop that right ear towards the shoulder. Are we still tall through the spine? You can close those eyes again if you like. Inhale it up tall. Exhale and gently release to the left. Inhale back up nice and tall. Now exhale and turn your gaze out over that right shoulder. Now tuck your chin towards your collarbone just a little bit. Or a lot, depending upon what feels right to you. Are you still pressing those palms towards the floor or have you relaxed through the arms? If there's too much tension going on, too much of a stretch, soften the arms. Don't press those palms to the floor too much. Inhale, lift your gaze. Turn back to center. As you exhale, turn and look out over that left shoulder. Keep that length in the spine, little tuck of your chin towards the collarbone, be nice. Great.
Inhale, lift your gaze, turn back to face front, extend those arms out to a T. And we're going to cross that left arm out in front of us. Right hand is going to come just to the tricep, either just below your shoulder or just above the elbow. Now we have this tendency to kind of lift the shoulder towards the ear. I want you to draw the shoulder down and away from your ear so that your shoulders are level. And then use the strength of that right arm to pull that left arm in towards the chest. You should feel a really nice stretch through the shoulder kind of in that upper back. Now we're gonna turn the gaze out over that left shoulder and a little tuck of our chin towards that left shoulder. Now if it feels right to you, spread your fingers on that left hand and breathe. Are we still tall through the spine? Checking in with how we feel, making sure we're not getting past that seven Kind of hanging out in that six, seven range. Inhale, lift your gaze. Turn it back to face front. Extend both arms back out. Now cross that right arm. Left hand just above the elbow or just below the shoulder. Now we draw those shoulders down and away. Okay, we don't want it hanging up here. Down and away. And then pull that arm in nice and tight against the chest. Sit up tall and as you exhale, begin to turn your gaze out over that right shoulder. Far as you can turn your head and then a little tuck of your chin towards that right collarbone. So I have a tendency to hold more tension in my right side than my left. I'm right-handed, so that kind of makes sense. But just notice on your body, what do you feel? Where do you feel it? What's the intensity scale? And breathe. Inhale, lift your gaze. Turn it back to face front. Release the arms, big circle of those arms overhead. Circle the arms around behind your back. Interlace your fingers, all the fingers, and then work to draw those palms together as best you can. If it's just getting the fingers interlaced, that's fine. If you happen to need a strap or a towel, grab one in each hand, and we're gonna roll those shoulders back. For a strong we begin to hinge forward. Just releasing the weight of the upper body. Allowing the head to be heavy. Just kind of move the arms as you need to to let the body sink. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. Breathe. Now if this just feels awesome, stay right here. If you like, a little deeper stretch, roll those shoulders up and back, lift your hands towards the sky. So keeping the chin tucked towards the chest, because we have this tendency to kind of lift our gaze a little bit, that's gonna cause tension in that uh, upper part of your neck at the base of your head. We wanna let go of that. So a little shake of your head if you need to, yes or no, and just let gravity take a hold of the weight of the head. Now slowly, slowly bring the hands to the small of the back. Lengthen through the crown of the head, more strong. And release those arms. Inhale, reach to the sky. As you exhale, release those hands down by your sides. Let's turn and come up onto all fours to tabletop. Hands shoulder width apart, knees, hip width, core is nice and strong. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, draw that right ear towards your right hip, hip towards your ear. Now I want you to be really focused on, rather than turning your head and drawing your nose towards your hip, it's your ear. Inhale it back to center, keeping the core strong. Exhale, left ear, left hip. Rather than that nose, really work to draw that ear in, creating that C shape with your spine. Inhale it back to center one more time, each side. Exhale, right ear, right hip. Inhale, center. And exhale, left ear, left hip. And inhale it back to center, good exhale. And as you inhale, come to cow pose, tummy towards the floor, gaze and sit bones to the sky. Exhale and hollow the tummy and chest. Lift your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, back to cow. Just articulating those vertebrae one at a time. Exhale and hollow. And back to neutral. And sit it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and long. Hips back towards your heels, forehead towards the mat. Nice, big, deep breaths. As you're ready, extend those arms out nice and long. Hands shoulder width apart. We're gonna inhale up to a modified high plank. And we're gonna take our time, slowly coming down. 
And as we come down, we're gonna come into Cobra. So those hips are gonna gently rest against the mat. We're gonna lift the chest to what feels right to you. So if you need to come a little further down and the rib cage rest is, uh, is resting on the mat, that's fine. If we can stay up here, or the arms are extended, so listen to your body. Notice what's right, shoulders are rolled back. We turn our gaze out over that right shoulder. Inhale back to center. Exhale and over that left shoulder. And back to center. Slowly release it down, all the way down onto your tummy. Slide on back onto your mat if you need to. Relax the chin to the mat. Breathe. We're going to inhale and lift just the upper body, gazing forward towards the top center of your mat. So we're not lifting the head, we're just looking forward, keeping that nice neutral spine all the way down. Feels right to you? Extend those arms out to the T. So this is going to put a little bit more tension. So we want to be mindful. Is that the right kind of tension? We're activating different muscles. So different than just tension of holding, this is strengthening. But if it doesn't feel good, guys, and if it puts too much stress on those uh, on the neck and the shoulders, bring it down or pull it in. And slowly release it down. Bring the hands around behind you. Interlace your fingers. Chin and nose resting to the mat. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift. Reach to those knuckles. Tops of the feet are still on the floor. Shoulders are rolled back. Now we're opening the chest. We're activating the upper back. Your hands can stay resting on the small of the back, or if you lift, we're gonna reach. Breathe. Now those glutes are engaged, but those feet are still on the mat. And slowly release it down. Take a big breath in. Now this time we're gonna engage the entire body. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, lift, squeeze, point your toes. How much of your thighs can you get off the mat? Locust pose. So again, opening the chest, activating the upper back, lengthening and reaching. So shoulder mobility, posterior strength, so important guys. Slowly release it down, release your hands and press it back to child's pose. Breathe. Nice, big, deep breaths. And let's slowly extend those arms out, reach. Spread your fingers wide. We lift the foreheads up your toes. Press and lift your hips to the sky. Coming up to our downward facing dog. Head is heavy, face is soft. Give your head a little shake, yes or no. Knees can be bent or those legs can be long. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And as you exhale, let your heels gently sink. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk step or hop to forward fold. And relax the weight of the upper body down. Soft bend in those knees so we're not locking out those knees. Bring the hands to the elbows and hold on. Just feel that extra little uh, weight in those arms as you take a hold of the elbows. And that's just going to gently increase and influence that stretch. Let's sway side to side. Nice stretch all the way down the backs of the legs. So as we hold on to those arms, heads heavy, and we're just swaying. Let the lower tension in that lower back, the neck, the shoulders. Coming back to center. Relax the arms. And slowly, slowly, roll it up. With a big shoulder roll at the top. Shoulders slide down and away. Do that shoulder roll one more time. You guys, shrugs are so good at letting go of tension and tightness in the neck and the shoulders. Inhale, both arms reach to the sky. As you exhale, release that left arm down. Cross your right forearm across the crown of the head and gently pull your head to the right. Now relax the weight of that right hand and reach with those left fingertips towards the floor. Close your eyes, relax your jaw, and just breathe. Inhale, extend right arm. 
Switch sides, right arm down, left arm high, cross the crown of the head, and then gently pull to the left. And relax the weight of the hands. Now reach with those right fingertips. Just a beautiful long stretch all the way down the right side of the neck. Inhale, extend left arm and the right. Exhale, open those arms out to a T. Flex the wrists, hollow your tummy and chest, press your palms forward, spine back, chin towards the chest. Inhale, lift open and reach. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey, half lift. Exhale, down. Walk, step or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And sit it back to child's pose. And slowly walk your hands back up to tabletop. Hands shoulder width apart. Knees hip width. We're going to extend right leg straight out to the side, sole of the foot to the floor. We're going to rotate our bodies and extend right arm to the sky, reaching up as high as you can reach. Now slowly turn your gaze back towards the mat and a little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone or shoulder. Reaching up just as high as you can reach. Breathe. As you exhale, slowly release that right hand down. Take a big step forward with each hand and slowly press back. Sit bones reaching towards the back of the room. So a little different stretch for the hips, for the lower back, the inner thighs. Now relax the weight of your head. Let that tension go in the neck. So a little stretch to the chest and for the shoulders. At the same time, getting that lower body. We inhale it back up. Pull those hands back underneath you and draw that right leg in. And extend left leg straight out. I'm going to turn sideways so you have a little different profile. So that left leg is extended out, sole of the foot to the floor. Core is strong. Breathe. We shift our weight and extend left arm to the sky, reaching up as high as you can reach. So we're going to go ahead and open up that body, the chest, the tummy, so that we can stack those shoulders and those arms. Spread your fingers and reach as high as you can. Keep that length in the arm and slowly begin to turn your gaze back towards the floor. So we're letting go of tension in the neck. A little tuck of the chin towards that collarbone or your shoulder. We just created this really nice long line all the way through the arms. Breathe. Now slowly releasing that left hand down, we take a big step out with those hands and now press it back. So the legs have not shifted. We're reaching those sit bones back, relaxing the weight of the head. So what do you feel and where do you feel it? Does one side feel a little more forgiving than the other? That is so normal, guys, and it's all good. Okay, like I said, I hold more tension in the right side. That's typically true of every part of me. So just notice what it is for you. Inhale it back up, pull those hands back underneath you, and then draw that left knee back in and sit it back to child's pose. And let's walk those hands up. Come over into one hip, sweep your feet around, and slide on down to the top of your mat. Extend those legs out nice and long, flex your feet, reach to the sky, and exhale, lengthen and hinge it forward, releasing the weight of the hands. The weight of the head, the tuck of your chin towards your chest. Let that head be heavy, give it a little shake. We want to let go of that tension. Anytime it's hiding at the base of the head and at the top of the neck. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands. We're going to rock to one side and slide one hand, palm side up, underneath your bottom. Now rock to the other side. Slide your hand underneath your bottom so those hands are tucked, palms resting against your bottom. Core is strong. And bend the elbows as you slowly lower yourself back. 
So we come to rest on the forearms and we're gonna draw those elbows kind of right in line with our shoulders. Point your toes. Now we're lifting through the chest and allowing the head to come back. Fish pose. So here, if you need a blanket, a towel, a pillow, for your head to come to rest against something rather than the floor. We want that head to just be heavy and to be able to relax back rather than forcing things right. We're trying to get rid of the tension in the neck, in the shoulders. So if you need to adjust by lifting with that towel or the pillow and bringing that earth up to you, that is perfectly fine. Now lift the chest, wonderful. If you are dealing with any kind of seasonal allergies, a little bit of stuffiness, opening up through the throat, through the ears, through the sinuses. Inhale, lift just slightly. Now slowly lower yourself all the way down. Roll to one side to release your hand and then the other side to release the other hand. We draw one knee in towards the chest and then the other hands to the shins, just below your knees. Interlace your fingers and let your arms be heavy. So just kind of wiggle those shoulders, like go of any tension, let those arms just be heavy. So this is a really nice little release for the lower back. Find your breath. Now let's turn our gaze out over one shoulder, doesn't matter which. And I just want you to let your head fall to that side and notice if the opposite shoulder has lifted. I want you to draw those shoulder blades back down. Head is heavy. Those fingers interlace, those arms just gently drawing the knees in. We inhale and lift the gaze towards the sky. And then as you exhale, let that head turn to the other side. So gravity, doing all the work. You relaxing, noticing if the opposite shoulder has lifted. So mobility through the neck, pretty important piece, guys. So if we just live our lives super tense all the time, we lose mobility in the neck. We wanna keep mobility as much as we can, keeping that spine young. We inhale it back to center. Let's release the hands and release that left foot to the floor. Right leg crosses just above that left knee. Pull the knees in towards your chest, reach through that little window and interlace your fingers behind that left leg. Pull the knees in towards the chest, shoulders down and away. Find your breath. This figure four stretch, such a great stretch for that right hip. That's another place where we hold a lot of negative energy is in those hips. So see if we can't let some of that go. Now gently release your hands, place that left foot to the floor, right foot to the floor, left foot crosses just above that right knee. Pull your knees in towards your chest, reach that left hand through your little window, interlace your fingers behind the thigh and give it a pull. Breathe, shoulders down and away from the ears. Eyes are softly closed. Just focus on all the good that you are doing for your body, your mind, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, whatever that means to you guys. Let go of negative energy, making room for positive energy. What a gift, that's amazing. And gently release. Releasing that right foot to the floor, left foot to the floor. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet together and allow those knees to open out. Hands resting either on your hips or your tummy. Eyes are closed. Reclined butterfly. Just slow, steady breath. Now you can remain right here or if you're more comfortable with those legs extended out nice and long or maybe on your tummy or your side, I want you to just come to a place that feels good to you. Getting rid of all the wiggles. Make the adjustments you need to make. 
more safe. More warm. Comfortable and ready to just breathe. Gently move to the base of the head. Aware. Calm. Gently move through the neck with ease, feeling that openness. No blockage of energy, it's just that energy moves freely down into the shoulders. There's this gentle, quiet strength as we let go of negative energy. You feel strong, you feel confident, feeling loose and free. This is warmth. All through the neck, through the shoulders. Our awareness strong, back up. So just behind the eyes. beautiful white light residing there, a quiet, gentle strength. I slowly watch as that white light shifts to a color. What color does it become? This represents your life force energy today as you've taken time to heal, to mend, to free the energy flow through your body, to let go of negativity and promote positive energy. Let this light burns brightly today as you have taken this time for yourself, this gift. Embrace it. Relax and just breathe. Let's gently begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. To breathe just a little deeper. To feel that energy move freely throughout your body. A gentle, quiet little smile in your heart, on your face. As you're ready, gently draw the knees in towards your chest. And either turning to one side and your hands and arms help you to come up to a seated position or feel, feel free to rock up and come to that comfortable seated position that feels right to you. Rest your hands. Close your eyes. Big, deep breaths. And as we bring our practice to a close, words for you to carry with you today or let float by. Know that each of us is different and celebrate those wonderful unique qualities. Let's gently open the eyes. Take a big breath in, reach to the sky and exhale. Pull the hands to heart center. I hope that helped let go of some of the tension and tightness in the neck and throughout your body. Have an amazing rest of your day. Again, thank you for joining me, for choosing to spend some time with me and allowing me to be with you in your home or wherever we are. Maybe we're traveling. Wouldn't that be great? Let's travel. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys are fabulous. Take care of yourselves. And until the next time, namaste.